Hello everyone, welcome to Edumalanga. On Edumalanga we create free tutorial videos for the Matric Mathematics syllabus. Today we're going to do the last concept under the first unit of the year. I'm calling it a concept because I'm not introducing a new kind of series, but rather we're looking at a combination of different kinds of series that we've already looked at. So let's get started. The first thing we will do is we will recall the two kinds of series that we're looking at, which is the arithmetic and the geometric. The arithmetic series comes from an arithmetic sequence, if we remember, and the general term for an arithmetic sequence looks like this. You have term number is equal to A. A represents the first term all the time when we're looking at series and sequences, plus N minus 1. So this is the term number. N minus 1 means the term number minus 1, meaning the previous term, times D, which is our common difference. So when we're looking at arithmetic sequences, remember that we have addition, we are adding, and that is why you have a common difference. And you have a common difference, that's what you add. So you add one number to all the terms to get the next term. And that is what makes you have an arithmetic sequence or an arithmetic series. The next kind of sequence that we then looked at was the geometric one now. With the geometric, the general term looks like this. You have Tn, again, which is term number, is equal to A, which is the first term again, times, so now we have multiplication, huh? And we have R. R is our common ratio. So every time you have a term, to get the next term, you multiply by the common ratio. And the common ratio is power to the power of n minus 1. So there's two things to remember when we're looking at a geometric sequence or series, that you have multiplication. So this time you multiply, yes, and you have a common ratio now and not a common difference. I hope this is all understandable to you. If it's not, please go back to the other videos on this channel where we introduce arithmetic sequences and series and geometric se sequences and series so you'll be able to understand everything that I've just explained. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at a combination of both of these kinds of series. So when you have a combination series, it's when you don't just have one kind of series, but you have both kinds of series. It's slightly more complicated than when you have one, because first you have to be able to identify that you are looking at a combination series. Let's do an example, because that's the only way we'll be able to show that kind of thing. Our example will be called example one, and the series that we have to solve we're going to use sigma notation. We're going to sum from n is equal to 1, which is the first term, to n. So we're going to sum n terms of this series over here. And the series is 3 plus 5 plus 12 plus 11 plus 48 plus 17. And it keeps on going till we have plus 196,608 plus 53, and that's the last term. So this is very strange if you look at it. Especially you can see at the end there you have a big number followed by a really small number. This kind of series just looks unlike the ones that we've looked at. With the other ones, what would happen is you would clearly see a pattern. So for example, it would either be getting smaller or getting bigger, but here you've got some numbers getting bigger very quick and others coming along very slowly. It's already looking different to the normal kind of series. When you see that, expect it to be a combination of the different kinds of series that we've done. But let's show that it is a combination and how we do this is by ruling out the different kinds of series. I'm going to rewrite just these terms of the series on the next page. So we're going to have Sn is equal to 3 plus 5 plus 12 plus 11 plus 48 plus 17. Okay, 
If we were to say arithmetic, let's do a check. For an arithmetic, remember we have to have a common difference. So if we say 5 minus 3, 5 minus 3, that's the first set of terms, we get 2. Okay, 12 minus 5, 12 minus 5, that is another set. That's going to give us 7, so no, it's not arithmetic. And then let's look at geometric. For geometric, we have to have a common ratio. If we say 5 divided by 3, 5 divided by 3, that's going to give us 1.6. That's going to keep going. And if we say 12 divided by 5, that's going to be 2.4. Put it in your calculator to check. It's also not geometric, we can see. So you know it's not an arithmetic series, and you know it's not a geometric series. The only kind of series that it can then be is a combination of the two different kinds of series. So great, we've identified that we are looking at a combination of arithmetic and geometric series. The next step is finding out which series the different terms belong into. So let's come back to our terms. Our terms are 3, and then you have 5, so you still have an increase. And then you have 12, yes, you are increasing, and then 11 suddenly gets smaller. Hmm. This term is where we can see that that starts to be different. This term does not belong with this term. I'm just using different shapes to show, but I don't expect the 12 and the 11 to belong to the same kind of sequence. So you have 12 and then you have 11. Mm -hmm. The 48, I would expect it to go with the 12. And then the 17, oh, okay. So maybe that's actually the pattern, that this one would go with the circle, yes, and then this one would go with the block. Let's do a quick check. I'm going to rewrite all the terms that are in the block in a new page all alone, and I'm going to leave out the terms that have the dots on them. So we then get that Sn, when we're leaving out those terms, 3 plus 12 plus 48. Okay, let's check this series. We can very quickly tell that this is not an arithmetic series because 48 minus 12 is 30 something versus 12 minus 3, it's a much smaller number. So we're going to check for geometric series. 12 divided by 3, here we have 12 divided by 3, that's equal to 4. And if we say 48 divided by 12, that's also equal to 4. Oh great, so these terms are geometric. What we're looking at over here is a geometric series. Let's continue to the end. This would also be in the block, and then this would be a circle and it would follow this pattern. Let's now take the terms that are above the little circle. The series is Sn is equal to 5 plus 11 plus 17 plus dot 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 and all the way to the last term which was 53. We can very quickly see that there's a common difference with these terms. 11 minus 5 will be 6. 17 minus 11, that'll also be 6. So these terms are arithmetic. Okay, so now we've looked at the series and we've been able to see that it's not actually one straightforward series. It's a combination of two different kinds of series. And we've also found the terms that go in each kind of series. The question asked us to sum everything, guys, so we're not done yet. We still have to carry out the summations. And we also don't know what n is, which is the term number of the last term, so we have to solve for that. We're going to use the arithmetic series to solve for n, so let's do that. Our general term for an arithmetic series, again, is that tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. If we come back and look, our a is equal to 5 for the arithmetic series, so a is equal to 5. Our common difference, d, we solved for as 6. And the last term, tn, was equal to 53. 
Tn is equal to 53. So if we substitute all of this into this equation, we can solve for n then. The equation will become 53 is equal to 5 plus n minus 1 times 6. And the first thing we do to solve, we subtract 5 from both sides, minus 5 on this side as well. The 5s will cancel out over here. 53 minus 5 is equal to 48. So we will have 48 should equal to n minus 1 times 6. We'll divide by 6 on both sides of the equation. The 6s on this side will cancel out. 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8. So what we're going to have is that 8 is equal to, because the 6s have cancelled out, we just left with n minus 1. We're solving for n, so we have to get rid of the minus 1. We'll say plus 1 on this side, and we'll plus 1 on this side as well. Then we get that 9 is equal to n. So we've now solved for that n is equal to 9. Now that we've solved for n, we need to solve for the sum of each series. Let's continue working with the arithmetic series. When you sum the terms of an arithmetic series, the formula that you use is Sn is equal to n over 2, open brackets, times a plus l, l being your last term. We can use this equation because we were given in the question the last term of the arithmetic series, which is 53. So let's substitute in everything again. We get that sum to 9 terms, because we know we're summing 9 terms, is equal to 9 over 2, open brackets, 5 plus 53. 5 plus 53 is equal to 58, so the sum of the 9 terms is going to be 9 over 2 times 58, and if we simplify this, the 2 can divide into the 58. 58 divided by 2 is equal to 29. So the sum of the first 9 terms of the arithmetic series is equal to 9 times 29, and that's equal to 261. So that's the sum of the 9 terms of arithmetic series that are in the series that we're looking at. Now we need to sum the geometric series. I hope you're understanding and that you're able to follow. If it's confusing, please don't hesitate to leave a question in the comments. So now let's sum the terms of this combination series that are geometric. The formula for summing terms of a geometric series is Sn is equal to A, open brackets, R to the power of N minus 1, close the brackets, divided by R minus 1. Again, let's write down what each of the terms is. We know that n is equal to 9. Our a for the geometric series is 3, and our r is equal to 4. So let's write it down. a is equal to 3, and r is equal to 4. Let's substitute into this equation now. So we're going to have that 3 times open brackets, 4 to the power of 9 minus 1, close the brackets, all divided by 4 minus 1. Oh, that's pretty easy. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3, right? So this will cancel out. So we would then have that Sn is equal to 4 to the power of 9 minus 1. If you put that into your calculator, you will get 262,143. So this is the sum of the 9 terms. Yes, it's 9 terms, not n, correct, that are geometric. We had a combination series, right? Remember, we had Sn, this series was our combination. And what was it made up of? It was equal to S arithmetic plus S geometric. The sum of the arithmetic terms is equal to 261. Okay, so that'll be equal to 261 plus the sum of the geometric terms as well, plus, and that will be 262,143. 262,143. The sum of the terms of the combination series altogether summed up 
is equal to 262,404. We've managed to solve for example one. This is a very strange concept. I hope you were able to follow everything that I did today. Again, if you are confused at any part of it, leave me a question in the comments. But this was an example of a combination of arithmetic and geometric series where you make one crazy long series then.